Do you love pot pie but hate having to make the crust? Then you hate when people take those biscuits and put it on top? Well, I've got the perfect thing for you guys today. Pot pie soup. Mm -hmm. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Welcome to The Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant-style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. I'm gonna need some onions, so I've diced up half of this large onion. I'm gonna use peas and carrots, and of course chicken. Now some people will use the rotisserie chicken that you pick up from the supermarket that's already cooked, but I don't like using that, so I prefer to use fresh chicken. And I'm just cutting up several pieces of breast, and then hit it with some distilled white vinegar, rinse it off because as Belizeans this is what we do we usually wash the meat with vinegar or lime or lemon juice let me wash my hands and then we're going to go season okay i'm going to start with some onion powder and then some cayenne just a little bit and then salt and black pepper i can always adjust later for salt and black pepper when making the soup all right and i'm going to use some garlic powder too because i'm not going to use minced garlic so this is about two tablespoons of um, canola oil and I'm just gonna let it come up to temperature and then put the chicken pieces in and then give it a stir don't forget to pick up your books guys and thanks to everybody who's been picking up their copies you can get it at bearpantryshow.com you could check below to see how else you can pay alright so let me go ahead and remove the pieces out and then I'm gonna saute the onion and the mushrooms if you are using like celery and stuff like that you can put that in now okay and then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and move pretty quickly because I don't want the flour to get lumpy and then now I'm adding two cups of chicken broth or stock and this is some low sodium chicken broth that I had here in the pantry but you can make your own too okay so half a cup of lactose free milk you can use any milk you have on on hand I use the lactose stuff because I want to eat this soup today and then I'm gonna return the meat to the pot and normally I would just let this simmer before I put the peas on carrots but I've decided last minute that I want to do potatoes in this because it's a soup after all so I'm gonna add some extra water one cup and then I'm gonna wash and peel and dice up a potato really quickly I only put half a cup so far, but I will use the whole cup. So now I decided not to wash the potato before I cut it because I didn't want it to get slippery. So I washed it just now and then I'm putting the pieces in here and I'm going to use the whole potato. Okay. So let's take care of the puff pastry. So this need to be thawed out. So I'm going to let it sit here on this floured parchment paper while I take care of the soup. The potato is still cooking and coming along nicely. Let me get my rolling pin and start rolling this out. I want to get it thin because this is puff pastry after all, so it will puff up, okay? Let me taste the soup and adjust it for salt and black pepper. The broth that I used was low sodium, so it's going to go according to your taste, all right? Let me go ahead and stir it again, and then you have to taste again. If Chef Ramsay were here, he would say, you got to taste it, okay? Use a clean spoon and taste it again. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let me go ahead and put the peas and carrots. And I'm not using the frozen kind, so this does not need to cook for much longer, but I'm just going to let it simmer for a few more minutes because I want it to thicken up just a little bit more, okay? Well, this is pretty much done right here. Now back to the puff pastry, guys. I'm putting some egg wash. This is one egg with a tablespoon of water. I really wish I had like regular brush. I hate these rubber brushes so much. I'm going to go and buy a paintbrush if that's what I have to do. So I've covered the whole thing with the egg wash and I'm using food bank cheese and I know the kids hate this cheese. So I'm going to go get good cheese right here. Parmesan with the Romano. You, you can taste the difference too guys. The cheap stuff you can taste the difference. I'm using basil, but you can use any other spice that you like. And I'm just going to get it all over. And I'm using this salt from Rocco de Spirito because I like how the grains are big. Sprinkle it all over. 
and then grab the pizza wheel we're making the uh, oven come up to 400 Joshua showing and then just cut it into the sizes you want I'm gonna cut it right here because this is one of the natural cuts that the thing had originally okay let's grab baking sheets from here this is a warmer you know on the bottom part of my stove it's a warmer but I never use it to warm anything I just store my pans there pull it right here onto the sheet and the video that I watched when the guy was making this he put another sheet on top but he didn't grease it so I'm gonna grease mine because I don't want it to get stuck you know what I mean his stuff was all stuck over the pan you put another pan because why it's puff pastry and it's gonna puff up and we're trying to make crackers here so 400 15 minutes to start checking on this again this is done I shut off the stove for that now I'm peeking at it at 15 minutes it didn't quite look done to me so I'm giving it five more minutes okay so now let me go ahead and remove my top tray and some of them still look white on the top so I'll stick it back in without the tray on top for like a couple more minutes okay now let's do our photo shoot so Joshua's helping me outside I'm running camera and beating off house flies so it doesn't get on my food it's that time of the year again guys come on little mushroom get in this plate let me go ahead and spread it out so I can cover the whole bowl you see my little puff pastry cracker off to the side guys it looks so good Joshua wants the taste okay guys it took longer than I anticipated because I had to send the kids to the store to get the puff pastry and the mushrooms and so on and so on but we ready mmm <laughs> you caught me where I can't even talk Oh wow, that is so good. No, let's taste for pot pie. Like my pretty new bowl that I just bought. Four whole dollars for this bowl, okay? Try this guys, it is so delicious, all right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Remember, guys, we are not buying this book. Because if you do, the only people that are making money from that book are my ex-distributor and Amazon. Pick up this book instead. This is my Belizean cookbook. It has 120 authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already, but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time. Hot off the presses, this is my second cookbook, guys. It's called The Pantry Laid Bare, and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book, all right? 111 delicious dishes from Basic Ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. Thanks guys! Looks good though. This expensive.